Well, turning now to our top story, the city of Minneapolis has a shortage of police officers, and that's no secret. As we approach a new year, many want to know how the city will address this. Now, we sat down with Mayor Jacob Fry to ask that specific question and more about his priorities for 2024. Our Rose Schmidt is at City Hall with what we've learned. We spoke to Mayor Jacob Fry about a whole host of topics from crime to the vision for downtown Minneapolis to the plan for the homeless encampments. He's also sporting a new look heading into 2024. With a new mustache in tow, Mayor Jacob Fry outlined his plans for the new year, starting with public safety. This next year, you're going to see a very aggressive campaign to recruit officers into the Minneapolis Police Department and retain the incredible officers that we have. New data shows MPD is down almost 200 officers from its minimum staffing level. This news comes after a violent 30 days. 13 homicides in Minneapolis compared to five in the same time last year. The mayor tells Fox 9 he has confidence in Chief Brian O'Hara and the new Community Safety Commissioner Todd Barnett. The work that we're doing and the team that we have in place, I'll tell you, is the right one. He also provided an update on the homeless encampment called Camp Nenokasi in South Minneapolis. 73 people have been connected with housing options. Another 14 are scheduled to move into housing soon. Our job is to provide the kind of cap compassionate care that people need, that they deserve. Uh, and at the same time, we, we recognize that uh, these homeless encampments on a large scale like this are not safe. Meanwhile, the mayor says the city is moving forward with Nicolet Mall becoming a social district. But the city has to do so thoughtfully with businesses, entertainment and music. If we're going to make a pedestrian style mall, we want pedestrians to go there. Finally, as Target, which employs more than 8,000 people at its downtown offices, continues its hybrid work approach, Mayor Fry says he's a big believer in in-person work, but feels cities also have to embrace the change that came with the pandemic. Things aren't going to be like they were in 2019. That doesn't mean worse. That just means different. The mayor, by the way, tells me he does like the new state flag design, and he says he would welcome a new city flag here in Minneapolis. Reporting in Minneapolis, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. Well, the